morning everyone. We are going to be making some broken glass candy this morning. And so first we've already compiled all of our ingredients. For this recipe we're going to need some water, corn syrup, granulated sugar, any kind of extract you want for flavoring, and whatever kind of color you want to put in so any food coloring would be fine. And then we also need some powdered sugar. So in our saucepan we already have two cups of granulated sugar ready and we're going to go ahead and pour in our, our wet ingredients which would be our corn syrup and our water. Okay. Now our wet ingredients and we're going to put it over medium heat until the sugar dissolves. We are putting our candy thermometer in and we're bringing this to a boil, stirring occasionally. Whenever you use a candy thermometer, you want to make sure that the tip is not touching the bottom of the pan or else it won't be the true temperature. Degrees, we're going to remove it from the heat until the bubbles stop and add our food coloring and flavoring. have stopped forming so we're going to go ahead and add two teaspoons of our strawberry flavoring and go ahead and add our um, color. If you want to make separate colors or separate batches now would be the time to do so but make sure you work quick because this stuff will set up pretty fast. So Leah's going to go ahead and prep our pan while I'm stirring this. And then we're going to pour this onto there and wait for it to completely harden. All right, so now that we have everything in here, we're gonna spread it out and let it sit until it's completely hardened. This shouldn't take more than 20 minutes. When it's completely set up, we're gonna use the end of a fork to smash it up and put it in a bag of powdered sugar until it's fully Thank you so much for watching our little clip on broken glass candy. We hope you guys have fun making it as well.